My name is Amber Vlasnik and I direct the Women's Center. The Women's Center has been on campus since 1993 and we provide community programs, uh, resources and advocacy for the Wright State Campus and the Dayton community. In 1991, it was actually the community that wrote to the campus and asked uh, for women's studies classes to be taught. And the university did a two-year campus climate study and decided to found not only a women's studies program, but a women's center. And so women's center and women's studies have always worked together very closely because of our unique founding. The women's center will provide programming that complements what is happening in the women's studies classroom. So each year we work with women's studies faculty to to learn what scholars and, uh, and, and thinkers are they assigning in their classes, what films are they showing so that maybe we could bring the filmmaker, what artists are they looking at, and we work to, to bring those men and women to campus and to provide then students in those classes with deeper opportunities to meet with those scholars and thinkers and activists and artists and filmmakers. Through our collaborative programming model, we have really impacted student learning. Students come to the program with more knowledge because they've already read or viewed uh, the speaker's work and they have a, a better uh, way to represent Wright State to those speakers too because they can ask better questions and their learning is deeper from that experience. In addition, uh, they go back to the classroom um, with an excitement about what they saw and a feeling that maybe I could do this, maybe I could be a scholar because this scholar I just met feels like a real person to me. Uh, maybe this is a career I'm interested in. And they might also come back to the classroom reinvigorated around working for social justice. And that is a very important piece of what we do here is help students find their passion. I'm Kelly Zaytoon. I direct the Women's Studies program and I'm an associate professor in the English department. The Women's Studies program places women and gender at the center of scholarly inquiry. We study uh, women's lives uh, within their historical and social context. We look at how women's lives are experienced and shaped by the culture and uh, and we, we look at those lives within their historical context. Our students tend to become very involved on campus and care about the campus community here. Our students learn about uh, how race, class, and gender uh, intersect to create a particular experience for uh, not only students as individuals and people as individuals, but for entire communities. And so they tend to see how our political world and our political lives are connected to our personal ones. And so people feel, our students feel motivated to participate in the community and see how they can make change and affect change. Many students take women's studies classes. In fact, we have a general education uh, option uh, for students uh, that we put about 300 or so students through a year and uh, students learn skills that uh, help them uh, participate in discussions about controversial topics. Um, students gain comprehensive knowledge about uh, some major historical and political events in the United States and internationally. They're connected with gender, race, class, and other aspects of identity. Uh, employers are looking for students who know how to negotiate in a diverse workforce and Women's Studies helps to provide them the skills to do that. My name is Jolene Pohl and I'm studying uh, my master's degree for humanities and a focus in Women's Studies. I'm getting my Women's Studies certificate at Wright State. Uh, I didn't actually know that I was going to go into this field until I took my first Women's Studies course with Andrea Harris and Kelly Zaytoon and I loved, I fell in love with the program right then and there. I fell in love with the classes. I became awakened by the conversations in class and from then on I knew I was going to focus my studies on women's issues. The Women's Studies program to me is what kept me, literally kept me at Wright State, it kept me interested at Wright State because uh, it deals with issues that are affecting my life directly, affecting the lives of people who I care about directly, and I can learn and evaluate and apply what I've, what I've taken in the classroom to uh, what I want to do in my, in my own personal life. My name is Layla Arnold and I'm an organizational leadership major here at Wright State and a women's studies minor. 
When it came time to decide what I wanted to do for my internship, I knew that the Women's Center was right for me. Um, I started developing an interest in higher education and how women affect higher education. And I knew that my skills and my experiences that I've had previously would complement the work of the Women's Center. The programming model part of the Women's Studies program um, in collaboration with the Women's Center really benefited me by allowing me to feel more comfortable with um, the, the staff who run the programs and the faculty. Um, being able to see how closely they work together and how much they care about the students and what they're doing really makes you feel like you're a part of something. I would recommend this experience for anybody else, regardless of your major or your minor, because it really allows you to connect with people on campus who care about things and care about what you may be passionate for or something that you didn't even know about yourself. And they really give you the opportunities to connect with the community and see perspectives in a different way. The Women's Center serves the community in a variety of ways. We, in addition to working with Women's Studies to help prepare our graduates uh, to go out um, and be better uh, citizens in their communities. We work with many other academic programs across the campus. We work with student leaders um, who are going out and being involved in politics and civic life, who are involved in their community organizations, um, in their workplaces. But we also do service in the Women's Center, and so we have many opportunities throughout the year for students, faculty, and staff to participate in helping make Dayton a better place. A recent example is we just started a service knitting circle, and so we have donated in our first quarter 15 blankets to Green County Children's Services uh, for students who are entering foster care. So small things that mean the world to the right person. And so we have, um, we have many projects like that in the Women's Center. 100% of women's studies students are employed or are in graduate school. They are in the fields of history, political science, literature, law. Uh, they're working in a wide variety of fields. Uh, they're coming back to Wright State and uh, reporting to us about what they're doing, thanking us for our work with them and the impact that, that we've had on their lives. Um, and coming back to the area to make a contribution here in Dayton and even here at Wright State. The Women's Center and the Women's Studies program also work together through the Women's Studies Internship Experience. Women's Studies 4980 is an intensive uh, internship opportunity where students are working any, uh, approximately 100 hours at a site. It, they might work here on campus and we've actually had some Women's Studies interns in the Women's Center, but they all, more often than not they're out in the community. They're doing work um, to make Dayton area a better place uh, for all of the people who live here. Women's Studies internships allow the students to implement what they have been learning about in the classroom out in the community. And so it's a theory to praxis model. It allows them to take the theories and all of the discussions that they've had in their courses and on campus and actually see how it works and put together the pieces. And the, in a lot of situations, our interns actually offer new and innovative solutions to the organizations where they are interning because they are coming from a very different perspective. They don't know how it's always been done. Uh, so it's a very exciting experience for those interns to be able to contribute to the betterment of the organization and the organizations really appreciate the opportunity to learn from the students as well.